What's up guys, HCG here. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck of the Day. Today we have a deck that got good new support in Phantom Raids, but people have just been overlooking it because they were just paying attention to the Phantom Knights part of the deck. But today I'm going to do a Raid Raptor deck profile. I think this deck is actually a really, really fun deck that a lot of people enjoy playing. And the deck can actually compete now, because before it had problems going into the rank up stuff of the deck, but now with the new cards that it got in Phantom Raids, the deck got a new extenders, got new stuff to use the rank up XC's monsters very very easily and of course with Bardis being out this deck actually has everything it needs to be a good deck so if you're a fan of the deck stay tuned because this is going to be for you before we begin though if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our upcoming videos and now let's get to the deck profile so to start off with one of the new cards we have three copies of Raid Raptor Strangulaneus this is a really good extender if you control any dark monster you just special summon from the hand it does lock you into dark monsters which can hurt you in one certain scenario but it's not something that you absolutely have to do in order to go for the full board of the deck it's something that will help you during more of the mid game so you don't really mind doing this turn one this card is really really good and it also has the wolf park effect that if you control an xyz monster with a dark xyz monster's material you can target one level four lower raid raptor monster in your grave to special summon with its effects negated so it has another effect that can actually be very useful but you mostly care about its first effect because it's just a free special summon from the hand which is what this deck needed because before if you were just using your vanishing lanius and your tribute lanius you had to rely on fuzzy lanius in order to have something to special from the hand but unfortunately Fazilenius was a card that restricted you fully to Raid Raptors so I have completely cut this card from the deck I think you should not be playing it because yes you are playing Raid Raptors but you have so many good cards in order to be able to use them for the dark archetype that you cannot you just cannot lock yourself into Raid Raptors you have to use what everything else there is in order to go for extenders another new card is Raider's Wing this card is always treated as a Raid Raptor and a Phantom Knights card so it's really important to be able to search this with stuff like Silent Boots and if this card is in your hand you can detach the material from a Dark Axis monster to special summon it and you banish it when it leaves the field but you don't really care because you'll just use it as Xyz material and then you will detach it so it will go to the grave and it also has an effect that it gives the Xyz monster that this card is material for immunity to targeting so if you summon a force tricks with this card then your opponent will not be able to use imperm or veil that force tricks and sometimes you have to resolve the force tricks in order to be able to do the combos sometimes you don't if you already have an extender in your hand so you can do the wise tricks play but if you absolutely need to resolve force tricks then making it being protected by stuff like veil and imperm can actually be very crucial. For the good old stuff, we play three copies of Vanishing Lanius. Of course, this is the one that special summons one Raid Raptor from the hand, because during the main phase, if it's normal special summon, you can special summon it, and this is not once per turn, so if you have multiple copies, you can just bring them all out and they will each bring another Raid Raptor from the hand. Really, really good. Three copies of Tribute Lanius. This is the Armageddon Knight of the deck. You usually send Mimicry Lanius with this, because Mimicry Lanius is the one that gets your card by banishing from the grave. Well, usually, what you want to do is you want to go for a Vanishing Lanius and go use its effect for a Tribute Lanius to send the Mimicry, and then you have so many extenders in your hand that after you summon your four streaks even if your opponent doesn't let you resolve four streaks you will still be able to use something to special from the hand to go into Y streaks and then you will be able to play three copies of pain lane use is one of those extenders this one is a level one but it does copy the level of the monster it targets you special summon from the hand by targeting a raid raptor you take damage equal to its attack or defense whichever one is lower and you copy the level of the monster you usually want to make this a level four i do play one monster in the deck that is not a level four but i usually summon this just to go for Y streaks i don't need it for any xyz plays but just because an extender i played but you don't want to copy this monster with pain lane use because you want to make this a level four you have to be a little bit careful in time with this card because if you're in game three and you're getting close to time then you might be able to lose on your own with just this card so if you're going into time game three you should probably side this out for something else because it's going to be very risky using this turn one and then lose during mid of your combo two copies of mimicry lane use you don't need to max this out this is just here to send with tribute lane use but you do need more than one because if you draw this then you don't have anything to get it out of your deck with tribute lane use and you will actually have to summon this but you don't want to waste your normal summon on this card so this is why i think two is perfect you banish this from the grave the turn was sent to the grave to add the raid raptor card from your deck to your hand you usually search your nest with this because it's a continuous spell you get it it's effect every single turn so it's really really good card really good monster combo with tribute lanius two copies of heal eagle this is the monster i was talking about this is not a level four which is unfortunate if it was a level four i would definitely max this out but being a level three is not that bad because of stuff like Y tricks and birdies requiring any kind of dark monsters and this is just a monster that you can special summon from your hand when you have a Raid Raptor monster on the field and you can also banish this from the grave to target the Raid Raptor spell and trap in your grave to add it to your hand so if your opponent deals with your nest then you can just add this back with this card so you can get the search again so just playing one nest is not bad when you have something like this in your deck because you can get it back whenever you want and one copy of Singing Lane use you want to search this with four streaks but you never really want to draw it unless you have summoned the four streaks because if you do not have an Xyz monster on the field you cannot special summon this card from your hand so this is why I only play one copy this is the one you will be searching with four streaks 99% of the time unless you already 
have it, but I would not play more than one because it could be a bricky card. It doesn't special summon itself as easily as the rest of the Red Raptor stuff, so just one is perfectly fine. One copy of Zephyros. So Zephyros is really good card because you can get out with Wise Tricks, and so you have Nest in the deck, which is a continuous spell, so you can get a free special summon from the grave with Zephyros by bouncing the continuous spell. Unfortunately, the continuous spell is a hard one per turn, so you will not be able to use its effect to search twice, which would have been really, really good, but still, this is something you can get into the deck, and when you play stuff like Wise Tricks in any pretty much kind of wing beast deck, Zephyros is going to be there 100%. One copy of Silent Boots, because I play Bardis in the deck in any rank, in any dark deck that doesn't restrict itself to any specific monster archetype or something, then you can summon Bardis, and this searches you a lot of stuff, and it searches you the new rank up, which is pretty much the reason why I think this deck is really, really good right now, but I'm going to explain why in a little bit. For the Hunt Traps, I play three copies of Ash Blossom, pretty generic, pretty standard, and three copies of Skullmeister. You can switch around Hunt Traps pretty much to anything you like. The only Hunt Trap I think you should never play in a deck like this is in permanence because you do play Sade Brigandine. In this deck, Sade Brigandine is an amazing extender because it's a monster you can special summon for free. It's a level 4 dark, and if you have used in permanence during the first turn, if your opponent went first, then you will not be able to use Brigandine because you will have a trap in the grave. So you can play any hunt trap you like in the deck aside from impermanence. But the reason I really like Skullmeister in this deck is because it's a level 4 dark monster. So in worst case scenario, you can just summon it on the field and then special summon maybe a Strangolanius and do your play this way. So it's a hunt trap that could be used as part of your combo. So this is why I really like this card, especially now because it's meta relevant, so I actually have more than one reason to play this in the deck. For the spells, let's start with the rank ups. We play three copies of Phantom Knight's rank up Magic Force. This card is absolutely insane. This card is the reason the Raid Raptor Xyz monsters are now good monsters, because before you could only actually use your four tricks, and then you had to rely on stuff like Soul Save, but this only gave you a two rank ups. But this can actually give you any kind of rank, because you banish monsters from the grave by targeting a Dark Xyz, and then depending on how many monsters you banish, then you rank up that many ranks, and you can summon anything from a Raid Raptor, an Xyz Dragon, and a Phantom Knight Xyz monster. So not only can you use the Raid Raptor higher rank monsters, but you can also go into stuff like Requiem, and this card is searchable through so many ways because Bardis is off the list, so this is an insane card that I think you should be maxing out. I am not playing the rank up magic, the, uh, the magic launch. You can actually do a combo where you summon Kali Yuga, but I think it's not as consistent because you have to have a rank 7 that has no materials. You can do this with Arsenal Falcon, but I think it's not really worth it because the deck has already enough disruption on its own. I'm going to show you exactly what monsters you can end on in this particular build. So I think Kali Yuga is a little bit of overkill by playing another card that could be a little bit bricky. And one copy of Soul Save Force. You really need to play this one copy just because of Wise Tricks. You will usually set this one. And this is the reason Strangolanius can be a little bit contradictory sometimes because you won't summon Infinity with this card. And Infinity is a light monster. So if you lock yourself into darks, you will not be able to use that. But still, you can summon any of the two Revolution Falcons with this card, which are both really good monsters. But if you want to go for interruptions, you usually don't want to use this card turn one. One copy of Raid Raptor Nest. You usually search this with your Mimic Relenius, and the more you keep this on the field, the more searches you're going to get, the more advantage you're going to receive with this card. One copy of Foolish Burial. Sometimes your opponent will not let you use Tribute Lanius's effect, so having this to send your Mimic Relenius this way is really good, but if you have used Tribute Lanius's effect, you still have Silent Boots to send to the grave if you cannot get access to Bardis, so it has more than one target. One Monster Reborn, really good extender for this deck. Call by the Grave. Like I said, you really need sometimes Force Tricks to resolve, because if your only play is getting Force Tricks, if you don't search your Singing Lanius to get into your Wise Tricks, then sometimes that could be the end of your turn. So this card is really good. And also having Mimic Relanius in the deck with stuff like DD Crow and Skullmeister and being relevant in the format, you need this to resolve, so this is why I call by the Graves here. For the Traps, play three copies of Shade Brigandine. In any rank 4 base deck, I think you should be maxing out this card, but especially in this particular build because you can search it with Silent Boots. This is a dark monster, so it's even better. So yep, this is why I said you cannot run Impermanence in the deck because you will lock yourself from using this turn 1 if you actually use Impermanence against your opponent's turn. And one copy of Fog Blade because Bardis is here, you can search this if you want a more interruption. It's not that it's, it's not a particular part of the combo, because the usual combo, you would search maybe the Brigandine and Ranka, but still, this is something you can search if you think you need it, because it's a one card that will give you one more interruption, and it's something that can bring Bardis back during the mid-game from the grave, which is actually important, because this deck utilizes Bardis' second effect really, really well to pop monsters when you summon Dark Axis monster on its zones, so it's really good to have for be able to clear your opponent's boards. For the extra deck, play three copies of four streaks. You don't really need three four streaks, but but I think you should be playing three because of how many rank ups I play. When you play three of the rank up, then you need to always have access to a rank four monster in your extra deck. Not particularly for its searching effect. Yes, you will use its effect to search something, but you need it more in order to have something to rank up because I play a lot of monsters that I can rank up to, and I think all of them have their utility. So I'm maxing this out because it's a monster I'm usually summoning first, so I can just use one of the rank ups. And during the late game, you would be surprised how many times you would actually go through all three copies of four tricks just because you try to rank it up to go for a game. Play 
one copy of Revolution Falcon and one copy of Revolution Falcon Air Raid. These are here to clear boards. You don't really need to banish a lot of monsters to get to these, which is fine because they're both rank 6, so you only need to banish two monsters from the grave to get to these. You can also get them with Soul Save, which is something cool. You need this for a wave for board clear. One copy of Arsenal Falcon. This is another card that people had forgotten about. It was one that came out in the Dimension Box in the OCG like six years ago, and we actually got it in Rise of the Duelists, so we have been waiting for something like this. Something like this is good for such a long time. It was something like Patchwork for Fluffles, and we had completely forgotten about it until we got it in Rise of the Duelists. This is a really, really good card. You can detach a material to get any level 4 winged beast from your deck, and if it goes to the grave, well, it has a Raid Raptor monster's material, which it always have in this particular deck, you can float into any Raid Raptor monster like Seize Monster and put this as material, you will can go into Ultimate Falcon, which will give you a monster that's pretty much unaffected by everything, and also deals damage to your opponent every single turn. So this is a really important piece that I'm so glad with that we have, along with the new support from Phantom Rage. One copy of Satellite Cannon Falcon. The reason I did not play stuff like Harpy's Feather Duster in the main deck is because you have this insurance for back row decks, because you can summon this with your rank up to pretty much wipe your opponent's entire back row, so you don't really have to main Harpy's Feather Duster, you can side it, but if you think you're having trouble with back row, you can main that as well. One copy of Ultimate Falcon. You will usually summon this only using Arsenal Falcon's effect because to get this out with a rank up, you would have to banish six monsters from the grave, which that's not very optimal. There would be a lot of monsters, so it has to be super late game in order for you to have so many monsters in the grave. But this is a card that you can summon with Arsenal Falcon, and it's something that some decks cannot deal with, so it's something to have in your arsenal just in case. I play one copy of Dark Rebellion Exist Dragon, one copy of Dark Requiem Exist Dragon. You can summon Requiem without having to summon Rebellion, but the problem is that if it doesn't have Rebellion as material, then it doesn't gain any of its effects, so there is no point in that. So you have to summon first your Rebellion, then then rank it up for Requiem, and Requiem is a really good monster because it's not a once per turn negate, so as long as it has Rebellion as material, you will be able to negate so many monster effects that the value you get out of this just one monster is absolutely insane. One copy of Redoer. In any deck that plays Brigandine, I think you should be playing Redoer in your extra deck because you get so much value out of this one monster, because not only is it a bounce, it's very hard to deal with, and it can potentially draw your cards if you can stack some spells under it by your opponent's deck, so it's such a powerful monster that if you play Brigandine, or if you can summon it in any way that it already has a trap under it, then you should be playing it 100%. One copy of Infinity, usually summon this with your soul save, unless you have uh, you're locked yourself with Strangulanius into dark monsters, but even if you have, you can just keep your soul save set for the next turn, which is a good comeback play that you can use. And for the Link monsters, play two copies of Wise Tricks, which is another good support that this deck received. This deck has received so much support during the last year that it's actually has become from a very roguish fun deck to a very, very good deck that if you know how to play it correctly and know the combos inside out, you can still so many games, it's absolutely ridiculous. And this card gives you access to a monster from the deck and gives you access to a rank up, so I cannot stretch enough how good this card is. And one copy of Verdis, which is the final piece of the puzzle, thanks to the ban list, that this card has given this deck and Phantom Knights the power they needed to be able to use their deck very consistently. And because Konami tried to combine these two archetypes into being very similar and to having cards that get text from both of these archetypes, then you can use them both archetypes. So these both, so these decks both can use them. And if you can use Verdis in any deck, you should be using it because it's such a powerful card that gives you insane advantage. And the field you will be usually ending on is something like a Requiem, then you can use your soul save to go in for infinity, you can have a fog blade set, you can have a couple hand traps in your hand. This deck can actually do so much and it's really good going second as well with stuff like the Revolution Falcons and Satellite Falcon to deal with either insane boards or really heavy back row decks. So yep, that's the deck guys. I really hope you enjoyed. It's a deck I enjoy playing a lot. If you're a fan of this deck, I suggest you try it out now because it's so good right now. If you've been a fan of deck like in the past but you didn't think was good enough then now is the time to shine because this deck can do so much so fun to play so good and it's such a blast having play with a deck like this so yep that's the deck guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our upcoming content and we'll see you next time